same thing, but I got it back. That's still there. You know what I'm saying? How are you doing, guys? That's cool. That's very good. I'm pretty good. I'm a little sleepy. I'm not going to sleep over here, but I'll wake up. That's our rock style life. What's up, son? Dude, fashion's always on point, man. Come on, man. Last time we saw you guys were Skittles, right? Skittles. <laughs> remember, I remember that. Remember, is that Jingle Ball? That was all. I remember, man. I was listening to our interview like a year and a half ago, and it was crazy because you had just came in from Houston, and you got your NASA tattoo, and you were like, I'm going to get a tattoo for, for every big experience. And I was like, man, you better slow down because there's going to be a lot of big experiences. You know what? I was. I, I started the tattoos, I was going crazy. Like I got like pretty much my entire arm done in like like six weeks. And then I just have been on like a, a dry spell and I just I don't know. I think I need to be home for really get some inspiration, but I'm at the point now where like I like how my tattoos are, but I can ruin them. I have a nice aesthetic, like one bad one. Right. Fuck it all up. So I'm really trying to think this thing through. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you were real close to your uh, your your pops, like how's he with the tattoos? He it? loves them, yeah, he yeah. loves them. Um, before I got my first one, he was, I hated the idea of getting tattoos. Because um, he's like Arabic and Arabic cultures, you know, tattoos aren't, you know, the greatest thing you could do. Um, yeah, I remember one time, like, a fan posted an edit before I had any tattoos of, like, my whole arm done. And, like, my aunt, like, just didn't know. Like, she just thought it was real. She, like, called my dad crying. She's like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, so, at this point, at, at this juncture, I gotta ask you because I'm a basketball guy. It's game five of the NBA Finals. Oh, yeah, it's so, uh, you Toronto, you go to state. All right. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, I have, I have so much respect for the Toronto team. I mean, what Quad's done, he's a, he literally is a robot. Um, I mean, it's going to be really hard to beat them. The momentum that they have as a team, like the whole city, like they've never even been to the finals before. I mean, they're up 3 1 against arguably the best team of all time. It's hard not to root for like people like that underdogs. But at the same time, like Clay Thompson has always been like my favorite player. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have, if KD comes back, like it will, if he, gonna tell you that. he might be coming back. He might be coming back. I know, I know, I know. I'm I'm all on this, bro. I'm like I'm waiting. <laughs> I feel like on the timeline, like I'm back up having here. Yeah, refreshing, refreshing. Um, but I was really rooting for them at the start of this because they didn't have Clay. It was kind of like back to the original Golden State team that they. I mean, yeah. they didn't have Clay. They didn't have KD, and it was back to like the original Golden State team that they had built. Right. You know, on their own without any.